We participated in a mock disaster drill on October 4th in partnership with Henry Ford Hospital. Every term we have to address um, the role and responsibility of a nurse in relation to disasters, what their responsibilities would be, how a disaster actually um, would be managed at a community level. It was very hectic and when we would go in and I think about eights or tens, groups of tens, um, and everybody had a problem. So there was four people on the front line that had to decide, are you breathing, are you breathing, are you breathing? Who's not, and I'm gonna jump on you, and then everybody else can wait. It was a nuclear bomb attack, so my role was to play a victim that was suffered from ex uh, major radiation exposure. So as a result, I lost all of my hair. Um, I went into the ER. I guess I learned that in that situation, if I'm that nurse, I have to decide whether to neglect someone or not to neglect them. Um, and that's a tough decision, especially if it's an adolescent or a child. I learned that, you know, it is very important to save the, just the people that you can save. I know it's a very difficult decision, um, but at the same time, um, you know, it's all about priority. Ultimately, what we're looking for for our student experience is not only to understand the theory of what actually should take place in a situation like this, but they were actively engaged in the process so they could see from the nursing role perspective what the responsibilities would be. But then of the other plus of this is that as they were admitted as a patient, they actually got to experience what the patient perspective would be, and that's something that's a lot harder for us to deal with on a theoretical basis in a classroom.